For most of her life, Flora has been forced to shut herself away at home to escape insults and mocking glances. She developed a bacterial disease called Noma when she was three years old, which caused the growth to cover most of her face. It is because of this illness that my parents didn't want me to go to school. Because by going to school, people will laugh at me. Nine out of ten patients with Noma die from the disease and survivors are disfigured for life. To remedy this problem, this volunteer medical team offers free surgical care to treat patients' faces. In just one week, the team has operated on about 50 patients. The problem is that it reaches all levels. It reaches the skin, it reaches the muscles, it reaches the bone and it reaches the mucous membrane, the skin inside the mouth and nose. So we try to replace these tissues by bringing tissues from another part of the body. Some patients have to undergo several procedures, but all medical expenses are covered by the Ivorian NGO Smile One Day, which oversees the program. Through facial reconstruction, the association hopes to help Noma sufferers overcome exclusion. They are often rejected in their villages. They're people we take for sorcerers, who are not recognized as human beings. They have something striking and terrible that makes the whole population reject them. Flora recently had her surgery, and like many other patients, she is getting to know her new face with a smile.